Tuesday, lunchtime. What's happening, people? Uh, where to start? <sighs> Firstly, thank you to everyone that's um, subscribed. We've hit the magic 100 subscribers. Long way to go, but it means a lot. Thank you very much. Please do keep doing that. Please like and subscribe. It makes a massive difference how it works on YouTube. I'm learning as I'm going, but I have learnt that's important. This car, going to Northampton on Saturday. This is the one I talked about before. I wanted to throw it away, Harry wanted to keep it, he proved me right, went to King's Inn and an absolute blinder in it. It is absolutely disgusting. But, it's going to Northampton, that's what he wants to do, he's the pilot, cool. This car, going to Smallfield Sunday, going okay there. No, already noticed several bits to do. I put a sump on it because it was the old sump had rust holes in it. This one's now leaking because I haven't done it correctly. So it looks like I've got to take the sump off, put it all back on. Job I hate. I'm obviously not very good at it because my record so far is I've done two sumps and they both leak. This car, Yarmouth car, uh, put a bottom arm on it. Here it is. Twisted. Scrap. Rare as rocking horse poo then, passenger side bottom arms. Another one for the bin. Change the drive shaft as well, because I said the drive shaft didn't seem to be engaging properly, so I've done that. It's still bent, but it's movable. So we've had the harness out of that, that's already in the Northampton car. And then we went shopping yesterday. So here we have Ford Sierra Sapphire Pinto Lightning Rod. Needs a bit of work, but that's going to be Harry's Smallfield car for next year. Real -wheel drive skids, unlimited prods. It's what he wanted to do, car come out. It's black, it's the right colour, it's got a Pinto in it, that's what we wanted. So that's a little bit of a winter project there. Needs a bit of tidying up. We're looking for, get it painted, sign written, etc. Tidy it up, go and have a bit of fun on the dirt and learn some real wheel drive. Uh, busy weekend ahead, but I'm going to crack on, get this one ready today. Might start looking at that one, we'll see what the day brings. But uh, like I say, thank you all for uh, subscribing and liking. Please keep it up, we've got a long way to go, but we've got some good ambitions for this. So we, we just need your help with doing that. So, thank you. Friday, have been up here nearly every day this week, but not sure whether people actually watch this bit, so I haven't uh, done much very quickly. New bonnet on the banger, just sorting out the spares now. Spares box all sorted, giving it a quick lick of paint as well, the box, just to tidy it up because it did look a bit of a mess. Uh, rear axle welded up, so the rear panard bar broke on this, which is this bar here. You just see the welding. That broke. That keeps the torsion in the uh, axle, which if you watch the last small field video, was why the small field car wanted to spin out so much in the final. Had damage on this suspension, done that. Just making up some new tyres now because we've ruined the tyre. Need to tie the bumper together because that's sort of failed a bit. A uh, couple more checks to do and then that one will be ready. So I'm going to load the banger up in a minute. So we're loaded tonight, ready for Northampton. In theory, Northampton's a couple of hours away. In reality, it'll probably take four to get there. M25 and M1, the joys. When we get back Saturday night, this car off, this car on. Probably go home with the truck means we get a little bit more sleep. We'll also try and get the in-car videos off on Saturday night, Sunday morning to clear the memory card to record the racing for Sunday. So there's not going to be a lot of sleep between, so the more we get done now the better. Anyway, we're nearly there. Uh, busy weekend of racing, but that's how it falls. Uh, let's see what it brings. Saturday afternoon, we're here. Here's the running order. Junior bangers all in first. 5th and 10th, from with the uh, Back to Basics and the Saloons. Great numbers of all of them. Four and a bit hours to get here, weren't so cold, but that's the journey for you. So just unloaded, Harry's just gone to scrutineering, shouldn't be any problems. Uh, he's in the queue over there. Um, starts at five o'clock, like I say, they're first on, so. Uh, handy in a way, because then we can get done as soon as he's done the final, hopefully. We can load straight up and head back, so we want to change over the cars tonight for Smallfield in the morning. But it does mean he's on, the saloons are on, and then he's straight on, which I would like to watch the saloons. 30 of them round here would be awesome, but we can't have it all. We had rain, so the track will be wet at the minute, but it's bone dry now, so we'll see what the day brings. Uh, in car will be running, so let's see what we get. <laughs>
one finished, he's driving off. I noticed it don't like starting. I think the button, start button's playing up, so I'm gonna have a look at that in a sec. But here he is. No significant damage by the looks of it. Although the front's pretty flat, so we'll have a look. Slippery.
first race he ended up doing the bottom arm, we changed that. He got 10th in the first one. He got 8th in the second one, I won't lie. I think that result might be a bit wrong. I think he was a tad higher. Not top five or anything, but a bit higher. But it is what it is, but he really enjoyed the race. And really, that's all that matters. Uh, not the tracking out, so I've adjusted that. And we've got the all-in final now. So it's been 30-odd cars every race. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see what the final brings.
uh, final, I think, outside the top 10, but it was close. Uh, he's driven it off. It looks a bit slower, if I'm honest, the car, but we'll have a look. Not too much damage, but the car's getting a bit soft now, so I think it might be time for a new one. But 10 minutes, we can't complain.